Hey guys, in this video we're going to add slider to our traders, so we can actually buy and sell multiple items. But first we need to modify it slightly, because if you were to open your slider now, it only works with option widget. And to make it more modular, what we're going to do is add new variable, which will be enumerator. Instead of creating new enumerator, we can use the one for tooltip. So search for tooltip, type enumerator, and this will be slider type. And what we have here is if you do switch, you can see that we do have from inventory icon, which we can use for option widget and from trader icon, which we'll use from trader. Another thing we need to change is option widget reference here. So instead of just getting single reference, we can change this to widget. So any widget object reference, and this will be parent widget reference and now it won't work directly to get these functions that we had before because it doesn't know which widget you're trying to get here but what you can do is cast to options widget for example it will take this as an object and then as option widget you can connect it to this function so this is how we're going to set it up remove it from now Let's make this slider type instance editable and expose on spawn so we can change it. And then parent widget reference also needs to be instance editable and expose on spawn. So compile and save. Disconnect this first, then compile and save. And now let's spawn the widget in our trader icon. So in the trader inventory icon, in the graph, we do have this mouse event. So on mouse button down. And this is what we copied over before. I told you to only disconnect it. We're going to connect it back. So when we right click, we're going to create a widget, but the widget we're creating is the slider. We will remove this inventory index, disconnect this item type. And here for parent reference, we're going to do self. So we are the widget that we're going to be accessing and slide the type will be from trader icon. Max value is going to be stack of the item that we're clicking on. And mouse position and this stuff we can remove from here completely and just connect it back to true. That's all we need. Now, I believe we're adding focus to this slider. Let's open the options widget. In the graph, yeah, we do have this focus. Let's change this thing first. So this self, just disconnect it, uh, refresh, and then this one will be from inventory icon, parent reference will be self, max value we do have connected, and we just copy this part. So these three things. Uh, back to trade inventory icon, and we'll paste it here. If you don't set the focus for the uh, slider, then the whole thing that we set up for pressing buttons won't work. So widget in focus can be this one here. And also here we need to set is focusable. So we do have, actually on this node, we do have in widget to focus, but these two things do different things, unfortunately. So we need to set this one as well. And now connect it back to return node and make event reply. Just so it doesn't give us error. Compile and save. And now we're creating the widget when we right click. We set in the focus. What we can do here is also go to event graph and here when we're buying from trader or selling to trader, we're going to create custom event, which will be trade multiple items. It will need an input of integer, which will be the value we'll pass from the slider. And then what we can do is just promote this to variable this quantity and set it here so we'll pass the value we'll set it and then we'll go to branch so this icon will check if it's a buy icon or sell icon and then decide 
on which function to use. Quantity needs to go to both. But if you're just clicking on this icon, we want to only buy or sell one icon, uh, one item. So let's set the quantity to one here. And make sure this is connected after so you don't reset it. Compile and sell it, save. And now let's also check if the quantity is default one, just in case. And once we have done that, we can call this train multiple items from the slider. So here on the slider, we do have on clicked OK button. So instead of just doing this, we're going to do slider type switch. And if it's from inventory icon, we're going to cast to options widget. Object will be parent widget reference, which we set when we create it. And then we can access this rest of it. So connect it here and as option widget connect to target. Then here we do have macro that resets the input after we press OK back to the interface, back to our inventory. But we, there is no way basically to do a select here or anything because we still have to cast to trade inventory icon as well. So we're just going to use this macro on this part. And here from trader inventory icon, we're going to cast to trade inventory icon. The parent widget reference will be the object. And as trade inventory icon, we'll call trade multiple items. Value is the value from the slider. Let's move this down. And then to reset the focus, same way as we're doing here, we need to get the actual trade widget reference because that is where we need to return the focus to. So what we can do is from here, we do have trader reference, so get trader reference. And from trader reference, we do have trade widget reference. Get trader widget reference. And then we can just set input mode to UI only, because we are still inside the UI. Widget in focus will be this, play controller we will get play controller. And we'll set is focusable as well, I believe. Yeah, we are resetting it as well. So from here, set focusable. Set is focusable to true. And now basically when we press OK, it will decide where we spawn this slider. So if it was an option widget, it will drop multiple items. If it was trader icon, it will trade multiple items. And we need to change this as well. So when we cancel, we also need to reset the input. So instead of doing this whole thing, could we just... We have to do it again because we do have this trade multiple items. I need it after. Set focus. I'll just leave it there. And what we're going to do here is again switch. Uh, slide the type first. Switch it. And then we just removing it from the parent. So here we're going to from inventory icon and from trader icon we'll get this cast. And we will do set input mode and is focusable this whole part here to this one in widget focus goes here, here and now we can actually do a macro from this so right click and collapse to macro which will be sent input trader and this one will be set input uh, interface 
or inventory or whatever we set in input to. And also we need a here connect this node to here. So we got output. That's all good. Cast the trader, parent widget, no, we'll be fine. Okay, so now we can just remove from parent. Oop. Remove from parent. When we press cancel, so it will reset the focus and remove from parent. And here we're going to copy this whole part. Actually, we don't have to, we can just connect it here to the beginning because on event mouse leave, it's the same thing. And I believe we have it in one more place, and that is here in the input. We got on key down. And here we're checking if it's left or right key. And if it is, if it is not, if it's some other key, we'll remove it from the parent. But here we have to copy that whole part. So let's go to Event Graph and just copy this on key down and we'll paste it here. And that's it. Compile and save. Now we do have value set up and everything else. Let me just double check it. We click on OK. We'll set the value, trade multiple items. Trade the inventory icon. That is all good. Ah, let's test it out. So pick up multiple items. So we can try it. Go to trader. And now I'll right click on this one, which is iron bar, it has three, I can go one to three. If I click anywhere else, it doesn't close it, doesn't work, it doesn't let me. If I press cancel, it cancels. And if I press E, I'm not able to close the trader, so something with the focus is wrong. But if I trade three, it will sell it and it doesn't actually close this widget. So when I press OK, what we need to go is slider, so on click OK button. Ah, I'm not removing it from the parent here. And for the focus, I actually haven't set it here to true. And that's probably the same thing on the console. Uh, set input right there, yeah. Set, it needs to be set focus true. All right, and that should change it here as well, but just in case, yeah, that's the same macro. Compile and save. Okay, one more time. So, pick up some items, go to trader. I have two iron bars I opened, it's one and two. I can select, I can't click on anything if I close it. So if I press cancel, I can close the trader with E. If I open the trader, open the widget. If I press E, it will just close the slider. And then if I trade, I sell two. Now the buying price is two. I got four gold because that was my selling price. I can buy this. If I select 10 of them, I won't have gold because it costs 250. But what it does is I press OK. It buys four of them and says one time you don't have enough gold. So this is all work working fine. If I sell them, four of them, I get 200 gold because that's the selling price. At the moment it works on one item as well, but you can't select the slider. We can turn it off that we could do check if when you're right clicking, if there is more than one stack, but I think I'm just going to keep it for one. Otherwise it will just do nothing when you right click. And yeah, that seems to be working fine. And there is one issue that I have noticed that if you select the slider, and then oh, like change something on the slider and then press right key it doesn't change the slider but i don't know if you can see it i'm selecting the slots behind again and we probably had the, this issue before as well in the option slider but i just noticed it now and i can drink potions or trade them behind it and then this doesn't work correctly and that is because slider counts as a separate focus so it loses focus for this widget when you change anything here so what we need to do is on the slider go to designer and on this actual slider here 
change this is focusable to false and I won't do it anymore okay and I pick up the items I think that might be all the issues sorted that we should have while you're dealing with this trader so now if I change something on a slider I can't press left or right it will just do the slider and if I press anything else it will just close it right and uh, there's just one more thing that we will have but I'll do it in fixes and that is because in our inventory we can still interact with items behind it so if I open my inventory I can pick up items and it doesn't actually refresh the inventory because we have it open and same thing that I can do here is I can open the inventory and then open the trader and it will break the game because once I close it I can't close my inventory anymore so we'll fix that but that will just be the input for the inventory so I'll leave that for the next one Alright, I'll see you then. Bye.